Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is finally Fiendish Friday, aka New Year's, New Year's Eve. Yes, folks, it is finally upon us. We're rolling into 2022 and I thought I'd end the uh, year with one more review for you. Uh, this one is a very special one. It is definitely not one for everybody, just flat out. This is a very uh, select crowd that are going to, going to like this movie. Um, it is very, uh, uh, how would I say, um, disturbing, you know, it's, it's, it's a very disturbed thought process. Um, I don't know if there is any kind of, uh, uh, what would I say, um, artistic influence or, or any subtext that, uh, things are, aren't, aren't what they mean. Um, my guess is the, uh, uh, the ending of innocence and, and, uh, moving on through the, uh, gates of, of life and death. But, you know, that's, that's just my silly opinion, but it is none other than the grisly crimes of the, of doll man. Yes, folks, this is the, uh, the, um, uh, very bizarre, uh, but fun, uh, uh, film by Bill Kate, William Kate, Bill Kate, whatever it is you want to go by. Um, I do, like I said, I recommend this to my very hardcore fans. This is a DVD R just to let you know. So if your player has any problems with DVD Rs, uh, don't just go ahead and skip because you will have troubles with this. Um, uh, even though most, uh, laptops nowadays, uh, if you have a, uh, DVD player in them, they will have, they're able to play this. All right, before anything, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by uh, and have a great morning, evening, dawn, day or dusk, all that lovely stuff. Like, share and subscribe and check out the information in the description box. I usually give you a little bit more info on on the daily film for the day. Unfortunately, there is not much to go by uh, for this one. The only way I know of, of getting this is through Bill Kate himself, which is C-A-T-E. Um, not K-A-T-E, <laughs> but either way, uh, Bill Kate, this is his, uh, 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 I want to say love letter almost to people like, uh, uh, El Gore or Gore Filth. Um, I, I can see the, uh, um, uh, some of the likeness of of their characters in in uh, the their their movies that they make their Z grade quality movies. So if you have problems with really super low budget, you will not like this one because this is a uh, little to no budget at all. Um, I'm guessing they probably spent maybe twenty dollars, maybe fifty bucks at the most to make make the entire film. I imagine the uh, the uh, uh, the tools that they they used on these these little cheap rag dolls. I guess they're not rag dolls. They're like baby dolls, like those ones that you feed them and they pee and poo. You know, one of those a Betsy Wetsy or whatever the fuck they call them. Uh, but anyways, uh, now this comes with three shorts and it also has a couple of trailers on there just to let you know. Um, so, so you got a little bit of a, a bigger plethora of his style of film that way. Uh, uh, what else can I say? There's also, um, uh, like I said, trailers, short films, um, the, the, the full length of, of the, uh, doll man feature is 55 minutes in length, like 55, 40 minutes and 42 seconds. Some, something like that. Um, uh, uh, it is, uh, uh, a thrill ride. Um, now from beginning to end, this guy is basically the doll man who is an actual doll, um, with, with really bad, uh, pl uh, like plastered on, uh, facial hair it's it's pretty funny um but uh uh i don't know if he's meant to be our killer uh because when you get down to brass tacks you see you see uh hands human hands not manic doll man mannequin hands doing the the deeds but uh you know that could be something else something uh much greater than than what i am seeing before my very eyes so with that all in mind, I do want, I do highly, highly recommend this one. Um, 
like I said earlier, the only way you're going to get any of Bill's films is if you go through Bill himself. Um, I did, I looked all over online for a trailer. I looked everywhere online for a, a web store for him. Uh, the, the only place I know of is directly through him. So it is Z budget, uh, with Z budget, uh, releasing as well. So this one probably has a very limited release. Um, I don't know. It, it doesn't have a number or anything on the back, uh, stating that it is, but, uh, I imagine he probably made an X amount of, of, of copies just you know i bet at the most probably 25 50 something like that um but anyways uh do check it out uh like i say um uh, this is for select viewers only. Uh, uh, I would I would like to hear what El Gore, I'm not El Gore, but what Gore Filth, how he feels about this movie, because it's it's uh, it's so reminiscent and it catches my eye and it's it's a very kitschy uh, uh, type of of the genre. You know, it's it's horror at its finest. Like you see these babies being chopped up. These baby dolls, excuse me. These baby dolls being chopped up with with uh, hedge clippers, with uh, um, a cobalt axe. Uh, um, at one point, there is one like like on fire, and it eventually like he jams uh, the the rebar pole he's using that has his torch on the end. He jams it in the ground. And then the uh, baby's flaming head is on there. <laughs> uh, I got a chuckle because um, it was cool looking. And then eventually it just went and slid down the the pole. And I just died laughing. I know it's not an intentional hearty horror chuckle type thing. Uh, but it uh, gave me a little bit of a giggle. Like, yeah, I like it. I like it. This is fun. All right, guys, uh, this is about all I can really say about this one. I'm trying to keep the reviews shorter now because 20-minute uh, uh, reviews are not uh, uh, getting as big a, of clicks that I would like. So if you want to um, uh, check this one out, let me know or, or get a hold of Bill Cade himself. All right, guys, I love your faces. I hope you guys have a fantastic New Year's. And hopefully you don't get too too drunk and drive. Um, there are people that will drive you home. Anyways, I am not here to lecture you on that business. You're all grown folk. All right. Like I said, love your faces. And I'll see you on Monday. Hopefully we get back to our